Hey everyone, we're out here today. We are power washing equipment. As you can see, getting all the skid steers washed. Uh, one thing we got coming up to do is we're gonna work on this truck over here. This is an old 1986 International. We've had it for a couple seasons, but it's definitely seen better days. It's a little on the rough side, so we were planning on doing a little work to it to uh, fix it up. One thing we gotta do for sure, absolutely, is fix this box. Now, as you can tell, this box is in very rough shape. It's full of holes. Um, you can see here, across the middle there, another up there. Anyways, every time you dump a load of dirt, uh, you basically take half the load back with you. So it was, it was getting really bad there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try and fix that up. I thought maybe I'll fire this thing up. Sun is out. It's kind of warm for a winter. It's like zero degrees Celsius. <laughs> so hopefully it'll start up and we can wash the box out, get all the dirt out of there. So when we do go to weld it, it won't be as dirty. This is the stuff we bought. We got four sheets of it, but you can see it's about, I don't know, about an eighth of an inch thick. I don't know if that's too thick or not, but I would assume much thinner probably wouldn't be the best for the base of a dump truck. So I think this will be uh, this will be adequate. So we'll see if we can make that work. Get that on and uh, fix that old girl up. We are all nice and washed. Probably never been so clean. Inside the truck, we're gonna put it inside the uh, inside the shop, so we can uh, all the snow that's remaining on it and the water we just put on it. It's gonna dry up nicely tomorrow, so we can work on welding it. And uh, also, they're calling for a chance of some snow overnight, so it'd be nice to have it in the shop, so it doesn't get covered in snow all over again. Hey everyone, good morning. We're back here. We're heading over to the shop. We are going to start working on our welding project on the truck. Got the Bobcat already fired up, sitting outside of the shop. Gonna bring the steel in there. So I've been here trying to straighten up this metal. Gonna hit some of these grooves down. Try to get it straightened up. this up too while we're here Nice cut, nice and straight. So, that's six feet. Six feet for inside the, inside the dump truck. It's the width across inside the bottom. So, and this will be extra. We can use this in the very front after, in between the hoist. And 
pathogen. So I'm gonna have to run over quickly to the guy and pick up some oxygen. Ugh. Let's take a moment to look how clean it is in here. Holy smoke, would you look at that? I should get this on film because this is pretty rare. Spent uh, quite a few hours the other day cleaning out this baby. It's been a while since she's seen anything like that. <laughs> it's a pleasure driving. It's actually nice getting in here. And just to clarify what I meant by oxygen, in case somebody doesn't know or, or was a little confused by that. It's like, oxygen's everywhere. No, it's uh, it's in that tank that's in the back of my uh, pickup. That tank is filled up with oxygen and it's to work with a torch. So the torch uses a combination of oxygen, which is that tank, and another tank, which is for another gas called uh, acetylene. And that's just to, they work together uh, depending on what you're trying to do, heat something up or cut right through it, you adjust how much of which gas you need. Um, and that's just to um, work with the torch. So in case we need to heat something up or cut something, you can just cut right through the metal with it. Uh, it's just good to have it uh, in case we do need it there. And also we were out of it, so I needed it at the shop anyways. There you have it guys, just picked up our oxygen. This is the local supplier here. So got all kinds of different options for different gases here and yeah so we're good to go we've got what we need and back to the shop so we're back at the shop from our little uh, adventure going to get some oxygen i'm just going to tack in this first piece get a nice straight edge the back of the dump box working our way towards the front because that's our straight edge and at the front we've got to do all the cuts around the hoist so I'm going to tack this one in and after we're going to lay all the other sheets down and cut everything out before welding everything. The pieces in, got a little weld done on this one. All the pieces are in up to here. But Mario did a nice little cut around the hoist. And now we're just putting in the final piece. See if that fits. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, pretty good. Was that first time cut? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Not bad. <laughs> measure twice, cut once. That's the saying, measure twice, cut once. Worked out well. Okay, well, let's do the other side. Okay, so we got our welder machines up here. Got arc and MIG. I'm not a specialist in either, but definitely not MIG. I'm gonna try it out for uh, the first time now. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so got it all tacked in. Just wanted to make sure it was all in line. So we are good from one end to the other. Now we can go ahead and weld the whole, the whole line down. All right, so all you pro welders are probably cringing right now. That's what I've done. I know there's some holes and not the best looking, but got these pieces all tacked in. So I'm just tacking those guys in. I might switch over to the arc and try out that one. See if it goes any better. Okay, so we've got this all welded in here. This whole square, and all the way around. It's not the prettiest looking, but it'll work. For, I mean, amateur welder, I'll take it. Sand this side here. Uh, that's what we're gonna do on the other side as well. Mario's cut this piece out. All right, guys. Well, that wrapped up this day. The battery actually died on that last clip I was doing. But either way, it was the end of the day. We, um, so we spent a lot of the time cutting all the pieces today, getting everything ready. Obviously I had to go out and get oxygen. 
get everything laid out, cut, tacked in, welded. Um, so tomorrow we're gonna come back, weld the little angles on at the front there and finish welding all the way around. And then we start tackling the outside of the box. And we'll be back tomorrow. If you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching as always. Take care, everybody.